personal opinion on uh, people that we need to be extremely cautious especially during this festive season and and, and you know <laughs> dr malik since you've pointed this fact out there are certain things that perhaps beyond the point are not uh, you know cannot be pushed or delayed anymore i mean at some point children have to get back to schools so we they, they, you know they uh, it's been the biggest collateral damage of this pandemic the way education has suffered at some point some of the economic activities some of the shops do need to open uh, you know some people do need to earn a livelihood and get to work and and if we had to choose in prioritize uh, priorities wouldn't you say that large scale festival gatherings and religious congregations should just be the last you can be there is a difference between the large scale gathering of religious uh, functions and a children going with certain protocol to the schools or people going with certain protocols to the cinema hall if if 15 people are sitting in uh, a classroom with social distancing and all the precautions it means it uh, it uh, speaks volumes about the precaution rather than a rampant collection of the herd on the religious function so these two things are absolutely separate we must also understand that after one and a half years of lockdown in the schools people are uh, children are losing on certain other aspects tanvi they need to have leadership skills they need to have peer group interactions they are getting depressed they they cannot according to american academy of pediatrics screen time should not be more than 2 hours and they are spending almost 8 8 hours on the screen uh, on the screen so we have to weigh both the things and and let us not forget that large huge political social or uh, uh, religious gatherings it is a totally different scenario as compared to opening of the schools with proper pro- proper protocol and under the monitoring of the principal or the teachers and the parents and everybody that is a separate issue moreover we cannot afford to lose on the psychology as a pediatrician i can tell you children are getting sick they are getting more obese they are getting because of lack of activities and other things they are getting depressed for that matter they are having visual impairments because they are spending so much of time on the screen so we need to be extremely careful and and if with certain protocols the government has decided to reopen the schools i welcome that idea but under no circumstances huge gatherings of the religious uh, functions which are absolutely unmonitored should be avoided and they should be restricted may it be any any religion or may it be any political party or may it be any social function yes um which vaccination rate in the national capital has come down by 34% since october 1st the average vaccination rate every day the number of vaccines that are being given has come down 34% just in this month and one would think that this is maybe this is happening because uh, you know majority of the people have been vaccinated but no they have not in delhi only a third of the people are fully vaccinated only 33% of the people are fully vaccinated the majority doesn't have both shots right now that both shots haven't got both shots even if you say one shot even that is just 63% only 63% of the population in delhi has got one shot this is the state of affairs dr ravi malik would this be a good time to then open up or let's just let me uh, rephrase that what would be an optimum level of percentage of vaccination where medical experts feel that okay maybe now we can allow a little bit larger gatherings we should have an herd immunity of at least 70% 65 to 70% before we can say that we are reasonably now herd immunity means both the doses of vaccine should be given to the patient single dose of vaccine has no meaning till we give two doses of vaccine to our population and that also amounts to almost 65% accumulated with the asymptomatic infections which have heard Uh, so the herd immunity needs to be to the tune of 65 to 70 percent, and by no standards, the over herd immunity is to the tune of 65 to 70 percent. So we should be very clear about it. Number one, number two, I, I will just tell you in the bullet points. Number two, our children are vulnerable. 41 percent of our population is below the age of 18 years, and not even a single child has been vaccinated. Not only for our sakes, but let us join hands for the sake of the life of our children. They are not vaccinated. so in case another pandemic wave comes 
our children are likely to suffer more and and we should be impartial i fully agree with the no my uh, political friends that we need to be extremely impartial whatever may be the function these social gatherings may be a political gathering may be a religious function belonging to any religion we we cannot change our goal post for that matter that look for this function the uh, uh, strategy will be this and for this function the strategy will be this or our uh, uh, protocol will be this and we should follow covid appropriate behavior in letter and spirit both and i will like to go further any violator who is violating the uh, covid appropriate behavior he should be dealt with the you know, iron hands he should be dealt strictly why because he is not only risking his own life but he is risking the life of other people and their children so violator should also be uh, taken with an uh, iron fist for that matter they should be dealt for that matter and in that during that tra trajectory of this covid it is going to be very important that there should not be any social spreader event you know a social spreader event then we can precipitate or escalate our um, second wave or can also be a important precipitating factor for the coming up of the third wave and we should also give gratitude to our scientists yes. to our doctors yes those those who have lost lives and we should give them the gratitude and the only way to give pay them the gratitude is to restrict ourselves it is extremely important for us to understand that we should restrain ourselves please very quickly let me also get in dr ravi malik's view on it dr malik because there is a big debate going on whether it's safe to have people with rt pcr test also travel or should it be just double vaccinated should, should we enter a flight which is 100% full Uh, look, the issue is right now we are not in a condition that we can afford a hundred percent full flight right now because uh, as I uh, already pointed out that our herd immunity is insufficient. So it is very important. And my critical and momentous concern is that vaccination rate is also decreasing. Probably people I don't know they are on the high adrenaline drive that probably this um, uh, viral illness has gone. But I must warn that this illness can haunt us in future. so it is very important for us to understand that we should vaccinate anybody who is left for the vaccination he should uh, get the vaccination done and moreover now the vaccine has also been approved for children and shortly it will be available for children co vaccin will be available so we should get our children also uh, vaccinated and any kind of blatant right. uh, you know disregard for any covid behavior cannot be tolerated and we must ask certain questions are we are we ready to take another blow on our economy are we ready to are we prepared as far as our health infrastructure is concerned why yeah. we should be confident you know and actually you know dr malik the point there is why